smell. Our nose helps us smell, which is one of our senses. Love how oranges smell. I wonder how the orangey smell gets to my nose. Smells are made up of molecules, Marco. What are molecules? Molecules are very, very tiny bits of things that make up the world all around us. When something gives off a scent, it means these tiny bits, called molecules, are traveling in the air. Ah! We sniff in the molecules and they're picked up by special nose receptors. Like a nose vacuum cleaner? That's one way to think about it. Ooh. The receptors send a message to your brain. To let you know what you're smelling. Sometimes it's a nice smell, like this homemade bread. And sometimes it's stinky like old cheese. Ugh. Now let's test your memory. Find the items that be... Hair. We have hair almost everywhere. I'm a hairy bear. I have hair all over my body. But human Look like we humans don't have much hair, Marco. But look closely, and you can see we have hair on our arms, legs, almost everywhere. And the hair we have comes in handy. How? The hair on our heads keeps us warm. Eyelashes stop things getting in our eyes. Eyebrows stop sweat from getting into them, too. The only place humans don't have hair is on our lips, palms of our hands, and the soles of our feet. Wow, me too. Whoa, whoa! We're more alike than I thought. Let's write hair. H A I R H A I R hair. A cut is an opening on any part of our skin. I had a cut. Just there. How did that happen, Marco? I was doing my supersonic running. I tripped and I cut my skin. Don't worry, Marco. Everyone gets cuts. You just have to clean and cover it. Do you know why? So germs don't come into my body through the cut. That's why I washed it out and put a bandage on it. But then it went hard and crusty. That's called a scab, Marco. It's a protective layer that covers the cut. So underneath, the body can heal the opening with a new layer of skin. Now my cut is as good as new. Time to get supersonic again. Ow! I think I need another bandage. Let's write iris. I. R. I. S. I. R. I. S. Iris. Taste. 
We have taste buds in different parts of our mouths, like on our tongues. I'm inventing new smoothies. Try this one, Nash. Yeah! Uh-oh. What's in it, Willow? Jam and honey. The taste buds on Nash's tongue are telling him it's too sweet. Ugh. Taste buds? I can't see any taste buds. You can't see them, but they're little bumps called papillae. Different taste buds identify the five different tastes. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami, which is savory. Ah, okay then. Try this, Nash. Grapefruit smoothie. Ugh. Too bitter. What about a pretzel smoothie? Blah. Too salty. Pickle smoothie? Yuckety yuck. Too sour. <sighs> you don't like any of the taste, Nash. Wait, I've missed one. How about this? Ripe tomatoes and soy sauce. Yummy! Well done, Willow. Nash likes umami, the savory taste. Yay! Well, it's clear. We all have very different tastes. Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Lungs. We have two lungs, protected by the rib cage. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Out of breath. <sighs> Been running. Hi, Lily. We're looking at lungs. Great. Lungs are really useful, aren't they? That's how our bodies take in oxygen, which is a gas we breathe that helps our body to work. Our lungs fill with oxygen which is passed into our blood. And our heart pumps the oxygen all around our bodies, through our blood. Ooh, I can feel my lungs. Getting bigger and smaller, filling up with air. And then emptying. Um, why do we have to breathe out? When we exhale, the lungs get smaller, pushing out carbon dioxide, a gas which our body doesn't need. Come on, lungs, get smaller. Oxygen in. Carbon dioxide out. Right, ready. Ready for what, Lily? Another run. See ya! Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. 